New tonight at 10, police say catalytic converter thefts are out of control and they're doing their best to stop it. The nationwide crime trend is getting renewed focus. That's because actor Johnny Wachter was gunned down when he caught thieves hitting his car in Los Angeles. Tonight, CBS 2's Darius Johnson shows us what police officers are doing in hopes of keeping people safe. As law enforcement, the goal is to enhance public safety, even if that means providing a resource to the community. As you all know, Sheriff Dart believes in working in the community. And when there's a gap in resources to the community, he wants the sheriff's office to step in. Under Sheriff Marlon Parks and the rest of the Cook County Sheriff's Office are stepping in as catalytic converter thefts ramp up. There was a need. Nearly 100 people pulled up to the Lamont Township Community Center and hopped out to receive a free service from the Cook County Sheriff's Office in hopes that service will now deter criminals. I've seen a lot of cars getting stolen. I've seen a lot of people who have said my car is not working because my catalytic converter is gone and it's making all this noise and I didn't want to have that happen to me. Janine Holmes showed up to receive the free service, getting her VIN number etched then spray painted in hopes of warding off the thieves. When people crawl up under your car to steal what's yours, hopefully they see your VIN number and the sheriff's office tag on your catalytic converter. It's not worth it. Yet she wonders why thieves do it. Patrick Flannery, the assistant executive director for community engagement, knows. Some of the material goes for thousands of dollars. Can I get back in? Holmes also wonders if it will prevent criminals from getting cash. Flannery can't say, but says since November, they've etched about 400 vehicles, possibly preventing 400 catalytic converter thefts in Cook County. What we try to do is create a measure of safety inside of each community that we work with. Thank you. Reporting in Lamont, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS2 News.